Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoy this video and this content, please like and subscribe and share with somebody else that you feel would enjoy. That would be so helpful to me. Um, I am so excited to be regularly on here now making content for you and I would love any um, suggestions or ideas for things that you would like to see on here going forward. But today's video topic is so exciting to me because it is probably the question I get asked the most if you are following me on Instagram, you know that I love a good designer handbag and I have taken quite a few years to build my collection and I'm pretty picky about it like in terms of even what I keep in my collection. If I find I'm not using a bag or it doesn't suit me, I'm, I don't hesitate to sell it. And um, I bring in like, you know, new things to like fill gaps. I'm gonna say gaps because obviously this is luxury and none of it is a necessity. Um, but I have like, you know, really contemplated and uh, built my collection over like a, a quite a few number of years. So um, I feel like I can like really speak to this question now. And I do get asked it a lot in like some sort of variation in terms of, what is my favorite bag in my collection or like my most used bag or if I could only have one bag like you know I've uh, seen this tag on YouTube where it's like like more morbid you know I don't want to like think about some sort of catastrophe happening to my handbags but more like fictionally if I could only have one bag which one would I choose um and I put a lot of thought into this like in terms of like the criteria I would want in that bag you know like it would have to be versatile um and I like kind of like you know work for like all the different occasions and things and so uh the bag that I chose drum roll is the Fendi peekaboo in the mini size so I do own um this in black with gold hardware which makes it like a lot more classic and versatile um in terms of versatility I carry this bag like it has a very like ladylike look. I carry it for work, but I also like carry it to go out at night. I carry it for like edgy, um, you know, like day sporty looks. And I will get into why um, I find it so versatile. But in purchasing it, you receive it with this thin strap and the strap is removable. The handle is not. The handle stays there like all the time, but it has like a slouchy vibe to it. You know, it doesn't really like really like get in the way or show or anything like that i know for some bags like the handle can be in the way when you're wearing your crossbody and the long strap is adjustable which i really love like i don't love the length on a lot of these like straps that the um, bags originally come with so um that handle or like the long strap being removable and new straps being able to be subbed on is what makes it so versatile for me and then um you can also purchase a jacket for this bag, like to change up the looks. I personally have not purchased the jacket cause like it's like that um, Fendi, um, like the print and um, I own like a Fendi bag in that print. So I feel like I, it would just kind of give me that same sort of look. But if you were to have this as like the only one bag in your collection or if I were to, you know, like then I would probably purchase the jacket for it. And I may down the line one day, I think it gives it like a cool classic vibe, but it hasn't been on my radar yet for that reason. But in terms of straps, I do own several straps for this Fendi as well as other Fendi's that it, um, I own where the strap can be subbed out. And it is like one of my favorite things about these Fendi bags is that you can change up the strap and change up the look. So the um, thick straps that the Fendi's are available or are available with the Fendi's. So one, I think that they're at a lower price point than a lot of other companies' um, straps, like say the Dior canvas strap is a lot more expensive than this and it is canvas. Even like the um, LV straps and things can be a lot more expensive. So like these straps, um, I wanna say they're like in the 1000 sort of range, um, but you get like really gorgeous, like substantial straps for that price point. So I do own a whole collection of them now. This one actually I bought to match with the bag that I was saying I have in this print, but it looks stunning attached onto this as well. And then I have a plain black, um, a different bag that I attach this to, but again, it could be attached onto this bag for a really funky, fun look. Fendi makes really amazing straps. Like they have a really great variety of funky, fun ones. This is definitely my favorite strap. Um, I like, I'm obsessed with it. It is actually what made me finally take the plunge, like the price hike and finding this strap was why I took the plunge last year and ended up purchasing this bag because without the fun straps, I don't love it as well. So as much, um, unfortunately it's no longer available. Um, and I did pick it up in both colors that I love. So I, I originally had thought that I would just like flip it and wear it on both sides, but the letters are reversed. 
And I love how like the color red looks like it's kind of like the appeal of Louboutins for me is like the way that red peeks out. But we'll insert pictures of me wearing all these different straps so you can see, but I love that like peekaboo look. And then I love having this color as well. Um, I actually attach it to like the um, Fendi I have in this print. I think it looks so stunning. I'll insert a picture, but I, I think it makes it like a little bit more of like a summery bag when I do that as well as like really like just ties in like pearl jewelry or different colors that I'm wearing. I'm obsessed with the straps. Um, and I was saying like, they're a good price point by no means is any luxury a good price point. But what I meant to say is that they're a better price point than other um, luxury straps for the quality that you're getting, especially if you get one that's like reversible. Fendi also makes canvas straps. I'll insert a picture of me trying one on in Paris that I almost like took the plunge on and bought. Um, but for me, when I really want to change up the look of a bag or like I'm really craving like a new bag, infusing something new into my luxury collection to be able to do it at that price point with a strap and get like really new look on a bag, I love. Like I've purchased a new strap, like a new Fendi strap and been like re-excited for like the classic bag I already own. And I think that's really fun versus having to buy like a whole handbag. Um, and then it's also really great for traveling because you can get like different looks while only traveling with the one bag. So I do, um, that is one of the things that I love about this bag is the, um, well, like one, the, the ability to change up the look with the accessories, but the versatility. So when I'm traveling, I love taking this bag because I know it will match like all the different looks that I pull out. Um, but it, which brings me to some of the other things that I love about it. So when traveling, I want a bag to be secure. And although I leave it open at the top 99.99% of the time, it does have the ability to like, you can close up these um, two like latches. I didn't even give you guys a good look at it, but it's got these like two latches on both sides. Even if I close up the one in front and like the one towards my body that's harder to reach into isn't closed, it feels very secure. Like I know like my mom, for instance, would never carry a bag that doesn't close. Like it's not on my radar. Um, I actually really like that it doesn't look stupid when it's open because like I used to own the Push Up Made Tea and I found it so finicky, like the clasp on it, having to go in and out. And I end up just leaving my handbags open like all the time. And like, I didn't do this when like back in the era when I would take like um, public transit to work or something. But like now when I'm usually just like walking around by myself with like far away from other people, I'll just have it open so I can like reach in and out and get what I need. So for me, I like that it looks so cute when it's open. Um, it's got that like vibe of it's like meant to be open like that. But yes, it can close up if you want it to. So inside it's got this one zipper pocket and then on the other side, it's got one slip pocket. So you can like put things securely if you wanted to and then otherwise have it open. It is like relatively lightweight for the quality of leather that it is. Um, even the inside is leather lined on it. So quality is definitely um, another uh, like highlight of this bag. I made like a pros and cons list and I only have one con, we will get to that. Um, so yeah, the um, lining is really great, I guess, because it doesn't have a ton of hardware is why it's not so heavy. I don't know, I'm kind of surprised by like how comfortable this bag is to wear. So find it to be just like so comfy on the body, I think, because it has no like hard edges. So it is so comfy to wear, the handle doesn't feel in the way. Like when I put on the thicker strap and stuff, it is just so comfy. The strap on it is really comfy. Having the adjustability on it adds to the comfort because despite like what height you want to wear it at or what height you are, you can really like customize it to you and still have like a comfy fit. And then the fact that the strap is not like a chain or anything makes it really um, simple and like comfy as well on your shoulder. Uh, and I really love that it has that strap that's included in it, like rather than some other handbags where you need to purchase the strap in order to have that like longer um, crossbody or shoulder option to it. So this bag fits a ton, like for the mini size. So as we've moved towards like smaller handbags trending, I find I really have to like with some of my bags, think about what items I'm going to carry with me. That has never occurred with this. like. It is like a big gaping hole on both sides. So I always look at like um, the shape of a bag and like how stiff it is. Like say the Chanel boy bag for the scale of it on my body, it fits nothing. Like it looks larger on my body than this peekaboo does, but it fits so little in it, like due to the structure of the bag and like the shape of it. This one fits so much. The other bag that I put like really high on this list, and I guess I always said that bag or traveled with that bag until I purchased this one was the 
Shivanshi Antigona Mini. It also like for the scale of it just fits so much, is so versatile, so comfy um, and really resilient leather. So I'm finding that with this as well. It doesn't really have um, signs of wear and tear. I know it is available also in a grained leather, which just looked less like luxe to me and had um, like white stitching on it in the black color. So it was like a little bit like less my vibe, but that is the option if you want like an even more resilient leather than this. Um, so yeah, it fits, it fits a ridiculous amount, but also doesn't look silly if you don't put things in it. Like it has a shape, but not so structured that it kills like what you can put into it, if that makes any sense. So that is uh, another one of my favorite um, things about this bag. And then the other thing that I really love about it is that I've never encountered anyone else carrying it. So to find a classic bag that isn't like trending or new to market, like has actually been around for like decades, I want to say, but then for it to be that unique is like kind of unheard of. So I actually bought this bag because one of my favorite influencers would carry it and style it. And, and I just like loved it on her. And it was a second bag that she influenced me on. So I like my bank account is probably like asking me to like unfollow. But um, I'll leave her handle here if you're interested. But her fashion is so amazing. And I would love how she would like style this bag. So she had like the thicker canvas strap with it as well as the jacket. So she gets a lot of versatile looks out of it as well. Um, so that's the only person, obviously, I don't like personally know her, but um, it's the only person I've ever seen have this bag, um, like other than like editorial wise. So I like liked that it was unique. And I think one of the reasons for that might be that it's a little bit like ladylike and like classic and like, you know, for if you're not like subbing in the straps um, for like my friend group, you know, like they're all like. Um, kind of like still younger or something for this bag so maybe maybe that's why you know like as we get older we might like more gravitate towards these sorts of bags it's kind of like how I feel about some Hermes bags like price tag and like exclusivity aside they just like are kind of like not my vibe at this age or in my current lifestyle so I do um love that like unique factor to it and then I was saying that it's still a classic so this is still a classic like you can still recoup your money or like you know to whatever degree you can recoup money in selling handbags I was sharing that they had a price hike last January so when these classics experience price hikes that is part of what makes you be able to like you know recoup your investment into them so I do like that aspect if you know me you know I, I love to sell a handbag when I'm done with it um so I always think about that aspect although I cannot see myself selling this one like this is one of those ones I can see myself wearing into like my old 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 age um but also with me never say never um and then um I was sharing that you can like add the handbags and stuff so one of the things that I really love about it is that it's non-logo like you wouldn't know that this is a Fendi peekaboo unless you are like really familiar with like luxury and handbags the size of the Fendi um logo on here is literally that there like on the clasps so that is like all the logoing this has unless you pick up the straps and so I like how understated it is like quiet luxury is really having a moment and I think things like this are just like the epitome of that quiet luxury but if you want to add flash or you know add that like sort of like jazz it up you've got the like very unquiet <laughs> loud I guess so um, uh, straps that you can do that with so I love that that like instead of buying a logo handbag that I could like potentially get sick of or whatnot um another reason I love this bag for like if I was saying I reached for one bag on travels is for that reason I feel safe when I'm carrying it I don't feel like anyone knows that it's a Fendi or whatnot if I'm like you know somewhere where I'm uncertain about that so I do really love that aspect of it as well and then I was saying I was going to share the one and only con I could think of and for me, that would be price tags. So, um, I mean, it's like price in the store is ridiculous. And then um, for me, I was sharing, I don't even love it like as much without straps. And then you factor in needing to, and I say needing like, cause I personally like the look of it with those straps, like the funkier st straps are also shorter. So I like where it hits on the body, but it does come with a strap. So it definitely is not a need. Um, but for me, the, the price tag like is definitely a factor when I start looking at these price tags and like, or sorry, these handbags that fall in these sort of price ranges, you know, like I had shared my Chanel on here to me, I start to like think like if I would just enjoy like, um, would I get more enjoyment out of purchasing multiple lower priced handbags versus, you know, like the one larger priced one, or would I use it enough, like, you know, to offset the cost per wear with this bag, I would say that is a yes. 
in terms of like cost per wear but I think like you know for other bags especially if you're buying like a more delicate skin and that's your mentality behind your luxury purchases like the cost per wear then it can start to like not make sense and like there are some you know design houses that are on the cheaper end for handbags and then sometimes I think like you know maybe that makes more sense for me to go down that road and be able to purchase multiple or even one where I wear it like you know a number of times where it outweighs how like the cost per wear on here so yeah the price tag and then um the fact that it holds its value also makes it hard to pick up as a deal on the pre-loved market I will link up here any that I found that were like indecent like you know good condition and are available pre-loved but it is hard to come by um on the pre-loved market like in good condition and like the color or whatever you want like the size there just aren't a ton of them on the pre-loved market um but also that leads back to not seeing it everywhere so I do kind of like that factor and then um, it is a classic, so I guess a lot of people do hold on to it for that reason. I don't know, actually, like, why, I, like, you know, in terms of, like, some of these brands are open about, like, supply chain issues and things right now, so I don't know why there aren't a ton of them, but I, I, I didn't um, find many that were, like, I like to pick up my, like, pre-loved bags in, like, pretty great condition, and so, um, yeah, the, this one, uh, it's really hard to come by, so the price tag is the one and only con for me, but again, when I think of it as like a cost per wear or like the versatility in my wardrobe or the ability to get so many different looks, with the addition of the straps, it did um, make sense for me. Um, so let me know what are your thoughts on this bag or what would be your, like, you know, if you could only hold on to one bag, what would be yours in your collection and any other ideas you have for videos you'd like to see on here. Thank you so much for watching this. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.